Sora. You get oh good a safe spot. Ew, it smells super nasty in here. It's coming from somewhere ahead, right? That's what my nose tells me. Then we follow your nose. There's no time to waste. Uh, something about this feels especially creepy. Don't worry, we'll take down Cannon, Kasuga's delusion. And this time we'll finally stop the spread of delusions. Hmm. Hey, Asahi. <laughs> For the love of all that's unholy, you're not having second thoughts about destroying this delusion, are you? Huh? Yamato, that's enough. No, he's fine. I'm sorry. You really are acting strange. What happened to you, Asahi? Yes, what aren't you telling us? You stop too, Ko. I'm sure Asahi has his reasons. <sighs> Is it something you're not even comfortable telling us? I ran into him, Cannon. I met him. What? When was this? Last night, after we parted ways, right at the electric town exit. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Because I couldn't quite get my thoughts in order. Did he say something to you? Yeah. What could he have told you that you couldn't talk to us about? No, it's not that exactly. It's just... Just what? It's just... He said it. He said the thing we figured out. That he is himself. It is also different that the delusion contractor is an avatar, which is why he's himself, but also someone else. And what was so important about that? I think it means that the canon Asahi met and the canon we're facing in here are two different entities. That wasn't all he said, though. He doesn't know himself. He pondered whether he was a delusion given human form or a human born of a delusion. Who? <laughs> I guess that confusion is why he'd call himself an avatar, then. Not quite human, not quite delusion, but an existence that's sort of an avatar of both? I don't understand a single thing any of you just said. Give me the short version. What was Cannon trying to tell you with all this? According to him, nothing much. He said the only reason he sought me out was to air a grievance with me. What kind of grievance? That I'm the one responsible for everything being the way it is. You? Personally? Okay, now even I'm lost. What's that supposed to mean? Why did you ever make that wish? Why would you have ever wished for anything at all? I can't get his words out of my head. What wish did you make? You don't think. I'm sorry I couldn't bring myself to tell you guys about this before. Don't worry about it, Asahi. Seeing you act all humble like that is actually kind of humbling, really. Sounds like that was really weighing on you. Next time, break down like the neat you are and tell us sooner. Because I think we all... Well, you know. No, I don't know. What were you going to say about we all? What were you about to group me into? <laughs> if you don't know, you don't deserve to. Thank you for telling us, Asahi. And please... Don't ever feel like you have to deal with these things on your own, even if he's right. Even if this is somehow your fault, we'd never hold it against you. Not even me! Thank you. I appreciate that. But what did Cannon's words actually mean? Don't know. But we're not far from him now. Let's ask him ourselves. Time out! We just got done talking about how this Cannon's different from the one Tachibana spoke with. Well, remember, he said he's not himself, but then he also said that he is. He exists as one and as many. In fact, I feel confident in saying that all the canons are linked. Yeah, that seems legit. <sighs> Got the shakes, huh? How could I not? I'm terrified to find out what canon meant. Would you rather we turned tail here? No, I have to keep moving. Then what are we lollygagging for? Come on, everyone. Lollygag no more. Kasuga and Cannon should both be nearby.
Oh, I was wondering when you'd show up, Kasuga. Welcome to our humble abode. The pleasure's ours, you pink-caped freak. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you. Thought you might have run away. That would have been the smart choice. <laughs> We're not known for our smart choices. Time to cut the crap, Kasuga. Hmm? Me? What crap would I have to cut? There's no way you'll ever become a god. You have to know that. You called yourself a chosen one and went around destroying delusions. Now you start lacking imagination? So your delusion is to become a god? It's not a delusion. It's reality. I will become a god, and you'll get to bear witness to my ascendance. Tell me, do you know what a god does? I don't have to to know you're full of crap. Come on. Why have you got to be so cold to your old buddy, Kasuga? A god's duty is to grant wishes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I can do. Because what is a wish if not a delusion? Nobody'd ever be mad at a guy for granting wishes, would they? So you're saying you're just going to go around granting whatever wishes you feel like granting then? Wouldn't that make people happy? Look at the state of our society. People are awful at self-assertion. They can't even bring themselves to say what's in the depths of their souls. That's why they need a god like me. I can put everyone on equal footing. I can't deny that there are a lot of people out there afraid to speak their minds. But there's nothing wrong with that, because they'll always find someone they can open up to. Such naivete. And you really shouldn't talk back to your god, especially one who gave you the delusion contractor canon, the greatest development of our lifetimes. He's like a dream come true. Whose dream? Mine. From way back when I was just an itty bitty boy. What are you talking about? Once I realized that the delusions I saw were, in fact, delusions, my world changed completely. My everyday life as I knew it was over. My family was torn apart. It was as big a change as any the world's ever seen. Before I knew it, I was locked away in a dark room and subjected to a myriad of experiments. A human guinea pig. No matter how loud I cried out, how much I said, it hurts. Save me, stop. Nobody heard me, nobody came, nobody helped. Of course, when you're experimenting with delusions, you need a test subject. I mean, it only stands to reason, right? And so, even at a young age, I remember thinking, there is no god. So you decided to become one yourself? That's right. That's exactly right. If I become god, then this world will finally turn the way it's meant to. I didn't have the power as a child. I couldn't fill that void. And that little boy, unable to realize his dream of becoming an omnipotent being, was forced to find a new dream. So he played along, pretended to share the DAB's ideals. If he did that, maybe he could get his hands on his new dream. And what is that new dream? The purest dream a lonely person could ever have. To have a friend. Nothing more. You're not talking about... A friend who is himself a beautiful dream. Someone who could grant the boy's wish, and everyone else's too. Canon. Time passed, and that boy became a man. And that man met the friend he'd wished for from the very bottom of his heart. And that friend helped him remember his old dream. His dream to become God. So, I guess in a way, I really do owe you all thank you cards. You don't owe me Jack. Oh, but I do. I wouldn't have been able to meet Cannon without you. What do you mean? You seriously haven't noticed. Cannon is a byproduct of the reality we exist in right now. For the one who made me what I am today, the one responsible for everything going on, is you. Are you saying... My deepest thanks to you, Asahi. What does that mean? Asahi, you've put everything you have into this crazy quest of yours. And because of that, Cannon was born. Just tell me already, how is this my fault? My delusion alone wasn't enough. It was ill-equipped to create a being of Cannon's majesty. So I'd just been waiting, biding my time. 
hungrily seeking the perfect opportunity to bring him into the world. But no matter how long I waited, the chance never came. Until one day, a young woman came to Akihabara. Me? Yes, princess. You were the one to give me the opening I so sorely needed. Delusions spread so much faster in Akiba than anywhere else. It's as if the whole town is shrouded in unreality, and the effect that has is immense. Strong enough to make time loop upon itself. So I put my plan into effect. I knew that now, I could finally meet Cannon. Wait, so Cannon isn't responsible for the day repeating? Jeez, just because a delusion can spawn others, you think it can alter the flow of time? Come on now. Can he not? Not at all. Talk about oversimplifying things. Stay with me now. Rumors of canon only started spreading after Sunday began repeating, right? The rumors? So that's it. Hey, stop understanding things that we're still trying to figure out. Oh, ragey, ragey, ragey. You always were a sharp one. Yes, the rumors themselves were the catalyst. Before there was a cannon, I was cannon. Donning a pink cape and kidnapping a random maid to keep things interesting. Making certain that I had witnesses, of course. So you were the one who kidnapped Moe way back when? Then a handy group of meddling kids went searching for the man in pink, questioning every Akihabara citizen they could find and perpetuating the rumors even farther. No, that can't be. And that's how it all started. The delusion of the pink-caped man. An urban legend brought to life. So the urban legend itself became a delusion. That's right, Rabbit. Delusions aren't reset when time skips back. An urban legend can persist from loop to loop. So the legend of the pink-caped man lives on, as if it had been whispered about for years. So that's why the number of people who'd heard of the pink-caped man seemed to grow. And since it's a delusion, normal logic doesn't apply. People bought into the story the second they heard it. Well, it helps if you give it a little bit of dramatic flair. Put a name on it like the Delusion Contractor. You even gave him his title? Of course I did. And I spread it far and wide. That was made a lot easier, of course, by a gang of do-gooder kids. And he wasn't just a man in a pink cape. No. He was a being capable of manipulating delusions. This man of mystery wore a silk hat, had a golden bob, and even carried a cane. It all came from your questioning. His appearance? You came up with that. His powers as a delusion contractor? That was all you too. So I brought the canon rumor to life because I helped spread it? Mm-hmm. Took you long enough, but you finally get it. And that's why I've got to thank you. Cannon's not my delusion, not yours, but the collective delusion of everyone in Akihabara. And the more the rumors of his exploits spread, the more readily people will believe in him. So, yeah, you might not have known it, but you use the people of Akiba to give birth to Cannon and empower him. Then what were the letters? Letters? Oh, the warning letters. I almost forgot about those. See, once I had Cannon, well, I didn't need you anymore. So you tried to keep us out of the delusion scapes. Unfortunately, you were a little too good at your job. Too many Cannons were born, and I only wanted one true friend. Disposing of the others was a painful task, but it did allow me to winnow them down to the one true Cannon. My greatest friend, my true blue, my honey BFF. That is not a best friend. And you're really putting his creation on me after all your machinations? You've got to be out of your mind. And what you wished for? That's not a friend at all, much less a best friend. It was somebody you could use for your own twisted ends. That's no friend. That's a tool. And so are you. Asahi. You don't get to decide who's a friend or not. You don't know what my life has been. What it is now. Painful, I imagine. You've suffered a lot, there's no contesting that. But what you're doing is wrong. Besides, if you do become a god, your days of having friends will be over and done with. Who do you think will listen to your troubles, talk with you and understand where you're coming from? 
Hell, who even could at that point? How many times do I have to tell you? I've got this guy right here. I don't need anybody but Cannon. You can say it till you're blue in the face, but that won't make it any truer. If I really was the catalyst here, I need to take responsibility. It's a heavy weight, but it's on my shoulders. I spread a lot of the rumors, too. Fighting a god sounds pretty rad to me. It's about time to put our old friendship six feet under, anyway. We won't let you get away with this. It's time to answer for your crimes. You dare defy God? Fine then. I might as well give smiting a try. And when you lose, I'll make sure Cannon's name is on the lips of every man, woman, and child in this reality. And then it can begin. The rebirth of the world in my image. Not if we can help it. <laughs> Only a witless fool would deign to defy a god. <laughs>
Maybe I'll grant a few of your prayers before I kill you. Thank <laughs> you. 
ruthless resistance. Get on your knees and pray. Calling me your best friend. Don't go! Goodbye. No! If only you and I'd met sooner. Ah! Whoa, 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 what's happening? Cannon wasn't this delusion's grand phantasm? This can only mean that we've still got a grand phantasm to take down. Finally. The real deal shows itself. Stop! Wait, please! Don't take this from me. Please. We have to. Are you? You've never been alone, Kasuga. You've had friends before. People who cared. My only friend is Cannon! You should be the one to do this, Reiji. And why's that? Kasuga could never have been a friend of mine. Not as he is now. Though, I guess you could say he once was. Stay back! Don't do this! You know what, Kasuga? I am your friend. And I'm going to finish this. That what you were looking for, Asahi? Yeah, exactly. Just don't forget about him after this day is over. Be his friend again. Come on, people. We've got a delusion to nullify. Stop! See you on the other side, Kasuga.
to practice. Now I can do even <sighs> It's over. Let's go, Asahi. Huh? Your long nightmare is over. And... you are? Hmm. What am I doing here? Where is this? A pitiful end for a pitiful man. Do I know you? Your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> Chairman Yuki! Chairman? Who are you? And how do you know my name? No. 
We nullified it. I see. Thank you. It's probably ridiculous for me to be saying that. But thank you nonetheless. You okay to see to him from here? That was my intent. Much obliged. Take care of him. He'll need it. Hold it. A new delusion has appeared at the Electric Town exit, and a delusion scape entrance has been confirmed. This isn't over yet. It will be. Far be it for me to disappoint a beautiful woman. Let's go. Well, would you look who it is. Shinomiya, you old so-and-so. Look who's talking. Been ages, hasn't it? It certainly has. You doing okay for yourself, old man? Can't complain. You know this guy? Yeah. He helped me out here and there back in the day. Make sure to drop by every now and again. Be nice to see your ugly mug from time to time. Time to time, huh? Oh, hey, Asahi, I've got a few things I need to pick up. Come with me, will you? What kinds of things? I've been thinking of putting together a new computer. Good chance, now that I'm back in Akihabara and all. Yeah, I suppose it is. Great. So lead the way. What? Me? Yeah. I don't know the town that well anymore, but you must be familiar with some good spots, right? Well... Okay, I guess you got me there. Mongoku Electronics, maybe? There's one of them on the side streets. What do you think? They've got a pretty wide selection here, don't they? This old place is still around? Man. What, you know it? Oh yeah. It's been here forever. It was popular even back in my day. Back in your day, huh? What was Akiba like way back then? About the same as it is now. Not as many karaoke joints around, maybe. Go even further back, though, and just finding a place to eat was a pain in the ass. How far back are we talking? When I was a kid. You've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, from time to time. Reiji? Quite the haul, huh? You get everything you needed? Still a few parts short. A couple of things they didn't have that I'm still gonna need. Where else you got? Well, I guess we could take a peek in the old Tsukumo building. You wanna check it out? This store, huh? Oh, so you know this place too, huh? You don't really even need me, do you? No, no, I do. Most of the stores around here have changed so much, I barely recognize the place anymore. Which stores? Well, all the convenience stores for one. Sure a lot easier to find an ATM than it used to be. The restaurants are pretty different too. It's like a bunch of little bistros now. Doesn't suit the town at all. Akiba's a pretty convenient place, no matter what you're looking for. I get that, but it just doesn't fit the town's image. Either way, we should get going before the place closes. Come on. That should just about do it. So you're ready to build yourself a PC now, huh? Not that big a deal. Or shouldn't be. Though, I guess nobody builds their own damn PCs anymore these days. It does cost a lot of money. Yeah, but it's satisfying building something with your own two hands. Knowing how each and every piece fits together. Which reminds me... There's one more thing I almost forgot I need. Let's head back to where we started. How about we upgrade our PPs? You need to be strong to protect me. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong Hey, 
Shinamiya. What you getting up to with all them bags there? I was thinking I could build a new PC, actually. Been some time since my last upgrade. Ah, uh, gotcha. And naturally, you're going DIY with it. Never were a pre-made kind of guy. I know it's not the most convenient method of upgrading, but it gets the job done right. Anyway, got a question for you. Oh, and what might that be? Has she been coming by? She? Oh, you mean little Miss Tojo. She shows her face here and there, always looking for some part or another. She's looking for parts? Yeah, old stuff mostly. All flustered over something she couldn't get to work the way the original designer wanted. Is that right? Well, if you ever have any trouble with that new PC, give me a holler. I'm always happy to lend a hand where I can. <laughs> if you think you're up to it, thanks. Wonder what kind of part she's after. What's this now? Just something from my past. Your past isn't exactly a narrow range. How long ago are we talking? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. But for me, one year, five years, ten years, it's all the same. <sighs> Fine, forget I asked. Building your own computers, though. That's something you've been doing since you were a kid? More or less. I'm actually really into it. I can't even imagine that. You, of all people, getting hyped about something. Almost scary to think about. Everybody gets hyped. It's in our nature. So is there still something you're super into now? Maybe not into so much as inside. Ragey? Joe was referring to, right? What's going on? Didn't we beat Cannon? So why does this still exist? There are a lot of cannons out there, remember? I guess there could be as many cannons out there as there are people in Akiba. It's not just Akihabara. Delusion Contractor Cannon has become part of the world at large. There's no stopping him anymore. So you're saying if we don't stop every single cannon, the delusions won't stop spreading? I'm saying snuff out the flame and the smoke will start to thin. I think I see what you're getting at. We need to stop the rumors around the world if we want to stop him. Newsflash, that's impossible. They've already spread across the whole damn internet. But how do you erase a rumor? Any ideas, old man? Jeez, it's a theory. Aren't you kids supposed to be bursting with creativity and imagination or something? Dream big. Uh, what are we going to do now? Only thing there is to do. Huh? And what is that exactly? There's a delusion right in front of us. Are you guys going to let it stay there unexamined? Time for some legwork, huh? Ugh. You two will never stop pushing that whole legwork agenda, will you? You might find a clue we can use in there. Hell, couldn't hurt to look. Not like we've got a whole lot of options either way. But still, but still, we don't even know what kind of delusion it is, do we? Gears, maybe? Headed into the delusion scape? I'll, uh, keep watch outside. 